Hey everyone, and welcome to another Stackland Studio Experience. Today, I have two mics in front of me, and you may be asking, why do you have a blue snowball? You hate them. And yes, I do. I despise blue as a company, not because they are good with their products and I are, I'm envious of them, but because they are not as good as other brands. And in this video, I aim to prove that with a setup that is $20 more expensive than this blue snowball, that is $50 USD right now on Amazon with Prime free shipping, which you can sign up for Prime in this video's description because that's the sponsor this day, today. Um, but I'm going to prove, hopefully, that my microphone setup is better for only 20 bucks more. So let's get into it, and hopefully I don't piss off every single YouTuber that I know. All right, so as you can see on this camera here, and I need to, there, now that it's brighter, it'll hopefully stay in sync because this camera likes its light. So I am talking directly into this microphone, both of these microphones actually, and the blue snowball is very basic. It has uh, a large ball shape to it, and it has one USB port. That is all on this microphone. And frankly, it's very basic, very, um, I would say plasticky and childish, but it's very on my desk. And it's there. It's not gonna, uh, it's, it's not gonna change. Now with my other microphone, you can see it's very sleek and it does have a shock mount. So if I move it like this, uh, it does remove some of the shocks that it has. Um, and also I do have a filter, but you know, I can also do that to that and then it'll remove some of the plosives. Uh, of course, I just, uh, I just, I have the volume for the Blue Yeti at 0.92, um, because again, it's not my microphone, so I've never really used a Blue Yeti. There we go. Now I have it set to about 0.52. Um, so at my normal tone of voice for these videos, uh, as you guys can hear, it is a decent volume for this microphone. Now, with Windows 10 breaking most USB microphones, this is a problem because with my uh, XLR interface here and my XLR microphone, I can plug this in directly to my motherboard or to a third-party sound card and it'll still record without any issues. However, if I switch back to this microphone, at any time, it could speed up, it could jam, it could automatically change anything. A while back, about um, about two or three hours ago, um, before recording this video, of course, um, I actually had an issue where my all of my microphones, Windows disabled them. Windows hit the mute button on all of them, and I couldn't do... A video and also I was going to uh, be in an Xbox party with someone and I couldn't actually do that because all of my microphones were muted why I have no idea and that pisses me off because I don't know why now this microphone I will say it's a decent quality I'm not going to say that it's going to be the best quality because of course with the sound mixer back here that I got for used I got this microphone and the sound mixer for under $50. I got the sound mixer for about 37 and this one uh actually it was a little bit over 50. So it was 56 ish dollars. So that that's what I mean like it does this microphone here sound better than the blue snowball. Like should you pay, you know, fifty dollars for the blue snowball for a for a non-upgradable microphone that the diaphragm may end up dying, and then you'll have to buy another fifty dollar microphone down the line, 
or does this microphone sound better? Now, obviously, I've done pro post processing to both of these so that you can, uh, so that there isn't the annoying, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, like background noise and stuff. But does this microphone, my XLR microphone, sound better? And is it a better deal that even buying new, it's $45 new? And it allows you inline mic control so that you can change uh, if you sound like a girl. Like I can now sound like a girl and not have any issue uh, if I even lower my tone or my uh, high end. I can sound like a freaking, or sorry, I need to raise my hand. And I can sound like a freaking girl. And all of this is done on the fly. And then if I change it back to where I'm normally at, I am still talking in my normal voice. And then I can raise my volume so that I am super loud. Or I can lower my volume so that I'm super low. And I can do all of this on the fly with no issues. Now, you don't have to buy this microphone. I highly recommend it because it does sound decent for the price. But at the same time, I would highly recommend this interface, which I will be reviewing later. Um, but this interface here and this microphone, this interface can last me four or five microphones while this USB microphone will only last me one USB microphone. It's, it's this microphone and that's it. The USB cable will last longer than this microphone, which I think is God awful. Now, let me go ahead and switch back to the Blue Yeti. Or not blue getting uh blue snowball so you guys can see now i am a nasally lower voice person i would say um and i'll also switch to my uh camera back behind um i am a more nasally lower voice i am a much higher pitched voice than most people and I personally do not like the sound of my own voice because it's so high pitched and in you know with my soundboard I can do that on the fly now if you are a youtuber who doesn't stream or anything like that you can you know just record your audio and then throw it into a program like audacity and then you won't have any issues however if you're a YouTube streamer or a twitch streamer or anything like that and you're trying to get this microphone I do not recommend it simply because you can't change the things on the fly, which a lot of people want to do if they're going to get into this stuff professionally. You can even have digital switchboards in a way, um, but they, ta they take a little bit of extra time to switch between things. So also this microphone's build quality, it's heavy, but the... The stand is complete plastic, and, like, I don't know. The cable seems like it's very cheap. It seems like it's, like, a printer cable from the 90s, maybe? Um, and, frankly, the, the microphone just doesn't seem good at all. And also, you have to get into a good posture to get into this microphone. Because you have to uh, kind of, and let me lower my plosive shield. There we go. So you kind of have to get into a, a hunchback of Notre Dame kind of style so that you can talk into this microphone. While if I go ahead and switch back to my other microphone, I can sit back and I can talk normally into it. Because, you know, yes, it's going to hear things behind it. But also, I can speak clearly into it, and it won't have any issues, hopefully. Now, am I saying that this microphone is all bad? No, I'm not. This microphone, for the price, is a decent microphone. This Blue Yeti, or Blue Snowball, my bad. This Blue Snowball is not bad, and used, also, you can hear every single movement that I do, um, used, it's decent, as you can hear here, um, or as you have been hearing, uh, but 
frankly, I just, I don't, let me flip this around. I don't like it because the ball interface just seems horrible as far as trying to use it. Now, sure, you can take it off of the endless rod that is this pole. You can take it off. Um, man, this thing has not been cleaned in like a million years. Um, but maybe that's why people like snow blue snowballs, because they last forever. While I personally would not buy this, I actually bought it. Uh, because I'm going to resell it. But the some people will prefer... Now I can't actually get this back on. Of course, I've had a lot of problems recently with getting... Well, close enough, I guess. I mean, it's... It's not close at all. Anyway, um, so would I recommend it? Uh, not when for $5 more or if you go used about $3 cheaper. It's not worth buying something like this that may or may not work in future versions of Windows. And on top of that, don't currently work right now in this version of Windows that I'm running, the Windows 10 post-anniversary update. I believe they call that the Redstone update. Uh, but the Redstone update killed USB microphones, and it's such a pain in the ass to use a USB microphone anymore. So why shouldn't you switch to... A microphone that actually works a microphone that you know would actually do you well I don't even know what the hell happened to this anyway so again just my personal preference I do not think that you should buy a blue snowball which I'm now going to switch to and just talk into like a normal microphone uh, or I don't know, like I'm talking to an eyeball, I guess. See, that's another thing that I have with blue snowballs, or against snow the snowball at least. It feels like I'm talking into an eyeball, because it's staring at me, with the blue logo. And yes, the grill is all metal, but frankly, I don't care. The, the quality is not there for me. I don't feel that this is any less quality than my my actual rig kit now i could also say the same about my new uh apg a akg a, a a something microphone that i use for my main kit i could say the exact same thing about that but at the same time that is a much higher end microphone and the or yeah it's the akg perception uh p120 uh and that's a much higher quality microphone that is sitting around and it's around a hundred dollars new um or fifty dollars used so it is around the same quality uh as this microphone that i'm speaking into right now but at the same time do you need that expensive of a microphone when you have microphones like this one? Like, does it actually make a difference? Or does it make sense to you? I don't know. You've heard my voice demo, which was the only thing that I actually wanted to do in this video. Uh, I didn't want to trample on anyone's shoes or anything like that, but frankly... I just wanted to, uh, while I had the Blue Yeti, or Blue Snowball, I keep calling it the Blue Yeti, um, while I had the Blue Snowball, I wanted to show you guys my personal opinions about it and give you guys a demo, because <clears throat> I personally don't believe that it is a good value for the money when, again, for three to five bucks cheaper, you can buy a whole XLR kit 
And on top of that, you can also buy, um, you know, an extra pop filter if you would like to. Um, you can buy a cheap, a cheap, 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 cheap pop filter, um, for nine bucks. And, you know, or you can even make your own with, you know, a pair of your own if you're a female or your mom's, uh your mom's pantyhose all you have to do is do that and then use like washer rings i think uh I'll, I'll leave a link uh in the video's description to a tutorial that i used to watch uh when i made my own home pop filters because frankly it's cheap it's easy and if all else fails with this microphone or any microphone from newer you can always do the uh, sock method, which I actually have my sock on my professional microphone right now. Because, you know, socks are cheap. You have them laying around, probably. So, I guess this leads me into the final question for all of you. Do you believe that this microphone, the uh, blue snowball over here, do you believe that it's actually worth it, or do you think that you would be better off with an XLR kit like the one I have in front of me. Again, this has just been a test of A, the camera that I have to review, um, but also on the uh, the blue snowball. Like, do you guys like what's coming out of this? If you do, I guess tell me in the comments below. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm very wrong. And there's a bunch of, like, dirt and shit in it. It's actually kind of cool that it does have a little B in the bottom of it uh, yeah there uh, it has a B in the bottom of it to like syndicate blue snowball or whatever um, but anyway I personally I would not use this microphone for my own that's one of the reasons that if you are going USB microphone uh, I personally recommend the uh, USB microphone from Samson, which is the Samson Meteor. But again, in Windows 10, uh, the Redstone update, sadly, it just does not work. Microphones do not work, and I don't know if they will ever fix that or if they will just leave it as is. So, I don't have all the answers, but maybe you guys do. So, let's make this a discussion in the comments section down below. What do you think is the best microphone for the budget? I don't believe it is the Snowball, personally. I don't know. But, again, this discussion, tell me down below. And, as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you for Amazon Prime for uh, sponsoring this episode again. You guys are amazing. Get your free 30-day Prime trial in the link in the video's description. So again, I will see you all next time.